Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Akram al Satari, the coordinator of Muslim Charity in Gaza, providing you with an update about the catastrophic situation in Gaza. And you can see the flames coming out from the houses that were destroyed and reduced to rubble. Some of them were destroyed on the heads of their dwellers. The escalation continues, and the suffering continues, and the loss continues. The UNRWA stated that they have reached a capacity. Of course, you can hear the explosion now. They said that the capacity of their shelters reached now. They have received 90% of their capacity of IDBs, internet displaced people. 107,000. You hear more, more explosions now. People are still falling dead. Some people are under the rubble. Help now is needed more than ever. Many injuries are coming to the hospital now. We are trying our best to reach out for those internally displaced people, for those affected communities, and to extend a helping hand to them. Because we are entrusted by our community and by Muslim charity to do whatever we can to help to do whatever we can to provide the quality services for the people who are affected by conflicts and military escalations. We are now preparing the bread for the IDPs in the south of Gaza. Water, the gift of life, is also provided to those IDPs. We have been communicating with different suppliers to overcome this issue and dilemma of the depleting stock of goods. We have managed to secure significant amount and quantity that would serve large number of IDPs. The number of IDPs in Gaza has reached 1 million people officially, according to the UNRWA statement. The number of the IDPs in the different UNRWA shelters is 400,000 people. And the UNRWA stated in a press release they are unable to accommodate that very large number of IDPs. Thanks to Allah Azza wa then thanks to your dedication, donation, cooperation, and enthusiasm in spreading the word about the ongoing escalation in Palestine, able to reach to the people in the host communities, in the shelters, in the streets that who have no other shelter, and provide them with a much needed life-saving support now. The number of people who are falling is increasing. The injured and the killed are increasing. On your behalf, we have been trying to reach out for them, to help them, to provide them with the much needed food supplies. Today, this Friday, may Allah accept all your deeds and may Allah help you help and improve the life of people. We are providing this lifeline that has been continuous for such a very long time and we're hoping that with your generosity and dedication, we can continue the giving and we can continue supporting people in need in the meantime. Barakallahu feekum. And this is the first day following the end of the ceasefire. The first few hours of this ending of the ceasefire witnessed a very large scale bombardment and escalation in all different parts of the Gaza Strip. 100 days have already passed since October 2023, and loss of property and hope continues to take place in Gaza. In this very critical time, Muslim charity continued to reach out for the people in need, in hospitals, in shelters, in host communities, and even in the open areas and streets. Muslim Charity delivered medical aid to hospitals to support 30,000 beneficiaries. Muslim Charity delivered food bags assisting 19,500 beneficiaries. Muslim Charity delivered cooked meals that have benefited 25,200 beneficiaries. Muslim charity have provided the gift of life, the safe water to 2,400 beneficiaries. Muslim charity provided non-food item bags that benefited 2,400 beneficiaries. In total, we have touched almost 80,000 lives. We have been able to reach out for them and provide them with essential support that is life-saving in most of the times. Thanks to your donation, 
thanks to your generosity, thanks to your dedication, we are managing and continuing to support those people and extend a helping hand for them in different areas, in Khalyun Southern area, in Rafah area. As you can see, very big quantities of supplies are already in the packing and very other also supplies that are ready to be delivered to those people in need. We are continuing the support, continuing the lifeline, and with your kind support and dedication, we will be able to continue supporting those people in need for that support.